Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, we're going to be taking a look at the classic fabled Celestian G12M Greenback speaker. Now, this speaker first came out in the late 1960s, and it's been kind of synonymous with rock guitar sounds ever since. Now, over the years, the construction of the G12M has changed slightly from what it was back in the late 60s. Now, in what ways, I'm not entirely sure, but people far more in the know than myself have said that the construction style has changed. So I've got one of those speakers in that cabinet over my shoulder there. But next to it, because it's a 2x12, I have another option that has been available until recently. Now, I have heard that these speakers have been discontinued, but some retailers out there do still have them brand new, so you can get them if you know where to look. And these are the Celestian G12M Heritage Greenbacks. And these are, so say, if you believe Celestian, manufactured to the exact same specifications as the Greenbacks were back in the late 1960s. So I've got them in that cabinet on the left hand side or the right as you're looking at it because you're looking at a picture of the back of the cabinet here is the heritage and on the left is the standard production greenback. So today I'm going to throw a few different guitars at that cabinet at a few different levels of gain with my Dr. ZZ Reg just cranking the amp, no pedals, to see what the differences are between these two speakers. What does the slightly higher price of the heritage version give you over the standard greenback. So I'm going to put identical mics on those two speakers in identical positions relative to the center of the cone and have a little bit of a shootout to see what the differences are. And at the end, we can have a little chat about what we've been hearing. So without further ado, folks, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, please do comment underneath. Let me know what you are hearing today. Which of those speakers did you prefer and why? Which sounds more like a vintage greenback? I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks in the comment sections. Now, there was a fairly big difference between those two speakers, wasn't there? Now, to my ears, the standard Chinese-made greenback had a much more kind of fizzy, bitey upper mid-range and a more detailed top end. Whereas in comparison, the heritage greenback had a much kind of thicker low end and a more boxy lower mid-range. And it sounded a little bit more rolled off up top compared to the Chinese-made greenback. Now, which is more true to the original? I would assume the heritage, but I honestly don't know because I don't have an original greenback here to compare them to. So please do let me know in the comments, folks, which you think sounds closer to a vintage greenback. I dare say you might know a lot more than me in that respect for this video. But there we are, the standard G12M made in China compared to the Heritage Edition of that speaker and the differences between them. So thank you for watching, folks. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. Please do carry on subscribing. I know I always say it, but it does make a big difference when you do that. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.